How's it going guys? Mason with Colton RV again. Today's Monday, so you know what time it is. It's Motorhome Monday. Um, hope you guys had a great weekend, had a great 4th. Um, today we're going to be going over the 2020 Tip and Wayfair 24TW. Um, this is going to be a really, really nice, small, classy motorhome that we carry here. It's going to be on the nice Mercedes-Benz chassis. Um, so feel free, we're going to take a walk around, stick with us, and we'll, we'll have some fun taking on a test drive, guys. On this side here, you guys are going to get a nice big storage compartment inside here. Um, you get a tip and floor mat inside here as well, too, which is great. Get the nice outdoor TV on this as well. You guys can sit outside, watch TV, uh, watch the game, hang out outside. You get the nice awning on this as well, too. On the back side of it here, you are going to have your generator. It's a 3200 watt quiet diesel generator. So this is running right now. Obviously, you guys can hear it, and it's not too loud. So if you guys are going to be at a campground where you, you want to run your generator, not disturb people, feel free. Um, if you really want to disturb them, take the cover off and make sure it's nice and loud. If you really don't like them, feel free to do that as well, too. Right here, you're going to have your on-demand hot water tank. This is really cool. So unlike standard RVs that have a regular uh, limited hot water tank, this here is on-demand. All you do is turn the power on outside here, turn it on inside. It takes a little bit to heat up. Make sure your propane's open. You get on-demand hot water. It's a really, really nice feature here. your furnace exhaust nothing too fancy about that don't put chairs in front of it if you have it running late season camping I know you want to stay outside enjoy the weather if you do have that running and it's a little cooler out you may melt the chair just make sure you keep your chairs out of the way back here you're gonna have one big pass through storage compartment can fit your compartment chairs kids husbands whatever you got to put inside there they're all fit get ready to take it for a test drive right behind this compartment here is actually where your diesel fill is going to be at which is really cool so right when you hop out of the the driver's seat just leave the door open pop this open and you don't have to walk far to, to fill up the diesel on this again like i said guys it's on the brand new mercedes chassis this thing drives in, uh, like a dream there's there's nothing that we have here that'll in a class either will drive better than this here all we'll do is we'll stop on the inside of it now so you guys can check it out. We do have the AC running inside here. It may be a little hard to hear. 
Um, but it's about 90 degrees out and it's going on 11.30, so we just want to make sure we don't pass out. What we'll do is we'll start towards the back of this and work our way up. But back here is really, really, really cool. So you actually have two separate beds inside here. Um, just in case it is a hot day out like today and you don't want to lay with your significant other, I don't blame you. You're nasty, sweaty, out camping. It's not worth it. So here you do have two separate beds, which is really cool. And you have tons and tons of storage inside here. They go back deep, wrap all the way around on this, which is really cool. So if you do have something a little bigger, it can go all the way back. Same thing on this side here, except this compartment. You do have a couple of fun things inside here. You have the dial control for your hot water tank here. Your generator systems right here. Um, and then you have the ability to turn on your inverter. Um, you can swap between cable and antenna TV back here, which is really cool as well. And again, all kinds of storage inside this, guys. You get nice little reading lights here as well. Just nice little push button ones. One touch, tap on and off. You have your thermostat right here for your air conditioning. So it's back in the bedroom. So in case you guys do fight over the temperature, whether it needs to be cooler or hotter inside here, um, it's quick and easy access. Now right here, nice big storage compartment. The cool thing about this is actually gonna be that paper that's on the wall. It has all of your appliances, the brand, the model number, and the serial number in case you did need anything fixed on it, which is a really cool feature Tiffin does. All these small little fun drawers here, which are really cool as well. Ladies, I know this is going to be your husband's one and only drawer he's allowed to have. Feel free to give him the warning before you guys even show up. This is all he gets. When you head back this way, we'll open up this compartment here. You guys can check that out. That's going to be your bathroom and your sink. And then on this side here, I'll have uh, Alyssa step through here so she can check that out. That's going to be your shower. The cool thing is there's magnets on top of the doors that actually clip right onto these little uh, little tabs here. So this makes kind of like a small little hallway so you can use the bathroom and shower and it still makes the door so nobody can come back here and see you. So we'll head up a little bit further inside this. A couple cool features inside this as well too is going to be the refrigerator here. Nice small on the go refrigerator. It's for the person that wants to get out, go travel. They don't worry about making really big meals. They just want small stuff. It can all fit inside here for you. And you have your nice little ice box inside here as well too. Over on this side of everything, you get fun compartments like this. A nice little spice rack which is really cool. You're going to have a one piece stainless steel sink inside this which is really cool as well too. If you have a, a baby coming with you or you have a small pet you can put them inside here and wash them. In case your husband or wife's really making you mad you can disconnect the faucet, spray them, really make them mad. And over here you're going to have your little cooktop which is really cool, two small burners. Uh, it's got a glass cover on it. It folds up so it's your, uh, your splash guard so you don't get anything on the nice walls inside here as well too. And down here you have a large microwave and convection oven which is really cool. So if you wanted to make popcorn and then bake a cake at the same time, feel free. Nice big drawer underneath this for all your pots and pans as well. Even big storage underneath the sink here as well which is really cool. Again guys, all kinds of storage inside this that utilize as much space as possible for you. So you can get the big compartments here. You have two options. You can use the table here, so it can be your dinner table. Or there's another spot right between the driver's seats because they rotate around. You can set it up there or you can set it up, spin the chairs around if you have company with you. Have them sit on the couch. You guys can sit there, have a nice meal. The couch here also does turn into a bed as well in case you did need more sleeping, which is really cool. So you get the two in the back and then you can get two on the couch up here as well. And then up top here, you do have a bunk. The cool thing about this is how thick the cushions are on this. This is gonna be one of the most comfortable cab bunks that you'll have. Um, and there's the ladder to access the top up here as well. You're gonna have your TV here. You can sit back, watch, watch TV. 
you're going to have your radio here, really cool, it does Bluetooth, um, it's a DVD player that's hooked into this TV, so if you want to pop in a movie and watch a movie if it's raining out, you can do that. There's a pull-out TV in the back too, right? Uh, in the back there, I will have to check, I believe, so I may have missed it. Um, we'll go back and check real quick here. Not on that side. Up, up top here, I knew it was one of these one of these compartments here. You do get the pull-out TV back here as well. So smaller LG TV as well for you guys to sit back here and enjoy watching that as well. So back up this way again, guys. Um, one of the cool things that you guys may have saw in the last tip when we did as well is it has this, the touch panel here as well. It tells you how full everything is. Gives you quick access to everything as well. Like your water pump, your tank heat, um, your main ceiling lights, backlights, all of your light controls, slide rooms, anything you need to access is all going to be on this panel, which is really cool. Um, on this coach as well, a nice little feature being for the size of it, it does have a leveling system as well too, which is actually right by the main entry door down here. It's a big foot leveling system, which is really cool. And then you're going to have your awning controls over here as well. One of the big features about this coach that's really cool um, is actually going to be the, the chassis that's up here. Um, being that's on the new Mercedes chassis, um, it's got all kinds of bells and whistles on it, which are really cool. Um, all your seat controls are actually right on the door, so you don't have to reach down to the side here. You can adjust it all right on the door. It's got a big navigation display on the front of it here, which is really cool as well. Um, and like I said, it rides smoother than anything else that we on the market. Um, we'll take it for a test drive just so you guys can see how well it handles the bumps and everything. Nice and quiet, you barely even hear it start off, which is really cool. But the big thing on this, again, is going to be the dash display on this. Um, once it's fully loaded up, I'll have you guys check this out. I'll turn the fan down so you guys can hear me. Really cool thing on the dash display on this for you guys is it has all kinds of things built into it. Um, you're going to get the, the Bluetooth connectivity from the phone. It's got navigation built into it. It's touch screen, so you get the radio, Bluetooth media, any info you're looking for, the Mercedes apps. One of the cool things on this is actually going to be the settings. So if you actually click on the settings and go into it, it gives you a 3D show of what your motorhome kind of looks like. Um, you can check all your quick access stuff, all your assistance, anything on the vehicle it loads up. It's a really, really cool feature on this. Um, I'm sure you guys heard the AC in this. On a hot day like this, this AC works tremendously. So again, guys, like I said, we'll take it on a test drive, get it all closed up, and show you guys how smooth it drives. Um, I'm going to get it closed up. Melissa, well, so you'll take a little walk around, just show them everything, and we'll pull the slide room in and get up, get going. Alrighty. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you guys may have on this coach. your batteries on parking brake has to be engaged and you do have to have the engine and accessory or running from here all you're going to do is click on this little button here that shows the slide rooms and hit retract you press and hold it and you'll see the slide room come up questions you guys may have um, you do always want to make sure all your compartments and stuff are closed before you do take off um, did you guys have any questions on this before we do take the test drive yeah, no questions yet, no questions yet? all right perfect guys we'll take it for a test drive I got the dealer plate on and we'll uh, we'll get ready to go
check out the dash area up top there. Safety is always the number one thing here, guys. Make sure you always wear your seat belts. All right, parking brakes disengaged. The really cool thing on this is it does have select shift on the paddles here as well. Um, in case you guys did want to change the way it drives, your shifter on this is really cool. So it's pretty easy to do. All you do is pop it up and down. reverse and drive it's not going to be like your regular shifter where you got to pull down on and put it in place it's just tapping and it makes things easy um, right now we have it in drive so if you're ready we'll head out like i said guys it drives incredibly smooth compared to a lot of the, the models that you see in class c's on the market now um it's it's nice it's comfortable it's nice and smooth you don't get the loud rattling that you do that you'll get in a lot of the class c's with compartments and everything shaking like crazy um this here it rides so smooth um again guys if you do have any questions feel free to ask them i'm more than happy to answer anything you guys may have like i said this is a brand new 2020 um it's the tiffin wafer 24 tw um it's got the beautiful paint job on the outside of it. It's the, the bronze and maroon striping on it and silver. It does look great. Do you need a special license to drive this? Do not need a special license to drive this. Um, just like anything else that we carry here, anything that's on our lot, no license required. Driver's license required. <laughs> I shouldn't say no license required. <laughs> Um, you do need a driver's license in order to drive these, but there is no special licensing needed. So what we'll do is just wait for the gate to open. Um, cool things on this as well too is uh, going to be the backup camera on this. There's little things that you can change on it, so you can get a little bit, a little bit of a different view on it, which is really cool. Um, your volume controls and everything for the dash are going to be here. All of your AC controls are going to be down here as well too. Um, we really haven't had it running that long and it is nice and cool inside here so it's quick cool air you don't have to wait for it uh, to cool down it's it's pretty instant so what we'll do is we're going to get out on the main road here um same path as last time guys we're going to pull up we got a fire station up here taking a nice short drive and let you guys check it out This is going to be a turbo diesel engine on this, which is great. Um, the diesel provides so much power on it, but yeah, it's a, such a nice and smooth ride on these as well, too. Um, you, you can't beat it. Um, the cool thing about this is it's programmed. It's picking up the, the navigation of the street that we're on. So even on the main dash here, I know it's a little hard to see. It tells me what the speed limit is, which is really cool. It says 50. Um, obviously, we're not going to hit the gas and fly up and and go 50 um, we're taking a nice short cruise just so you guys can enjoy it i don't know where you guys are watching from today right now it's uh, a little bit after 11 o'clock and it's 88 degrees out right now so um like i said that the ac inside these is definitely a great feature um it makes things nice and cool for you guys um, and I hope if, if it is this hot or hotter where you guys are watching from, you're staying cool, staying hydrated. Um, can't, can't stress that enough with uh, how hot things are going to get, not only today, but for the rest of the week as well, too. But again, nice smooth ride. We hit a couple bumps there. You don't hear a lot of shaking coming from the back end of this. There's not a lot of things that you hear rattling back there, which is great. nice thing about this too is it's not a large motorhome it's only roughly about 25 24 ish feet um, you don't have to make these big significant wide turns obviously you do want to make them a little bit bigger than what you're used to 
But for something like this, it rides so smooth and it turns so tight, you guys don't have to really worry about making the nice big wide turns that you would in a Class A. Um, again, nice and smooth ride. These seats are incredibly comfortable. Um, they have all different kinds of support changes that you can change down there. I believe they're actually heated as well too. So you get heated front seats, you can adjust the back on them, you can adjust the bottom on them if it's a little uncomfortable. I believe they have lumbar support on them as well too, which is great. Um, all the all the nice features you'd expect on a Mercedes chassis. Again, guys, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you guys may have. What we'll do is we'll let traffic go and make sure we get a, a nice clean opening just to head out. Looks like it's a little busy today, so we might be here for a minute or so. I've been here just short, just short, or a little over four years. I mean, the time goes by quick when you guys are having fun in this place. I, it's an incredible place to work for. Uh, it's a great dealership from parts to service to the sales side of everything. Um, we, we make sure you have a great experience. Um, I've been, like I said, I've been here for just short or a little over four years, and there's not one thing that I could say bad about this company. I love working for them. So, um, Jim, Casey, and Chris, the Casey, the son, Jim and Chris, the brothers that run it now, they're, they're incredible too. So they're, they're willing to, to go out and do what they can to help any customer that comes inside here. I do eventually want to get one and go out and uh, once I have kids and stuff and, and make memories with them out camping, just like I did with my dad and my, my family when I was a kid too. So it's, it's on the bucket list. Alright guys, we're going to get ready to turn back in. Um, once we head back in, we'll uh, get it back in its parking spot and I'll uh, show you guys just how easy it is to maneuver something like this. Again, it's it's a lot smaller than your typical Class A, so it's a lot, easy, a lot easier to maneuver and they're really fun to drive too because of how small they are. Um, they got a lot of power to them, so if you're going in a lot of hilly areas, whether you're going uphill or downhill, um, they have the power to get you up it and they have the power to stop themselves from rolling down it and taking away on you. So it's really great. Um, this is probably one of my favorite motorhomes that we have here. Um, from the paint job to the on the outside of it, from the Mercedes chassis to all the bells and whistles on the dash. I mean, there's so many fun things that these have on them. Um, not to mention the fact that it's a Tiffin as well, too. I know a lot of people that uh, are familiar with Tiffin are usually just familiar with their big Class A motorhomes. Um, they actually start, started making a Class C e now. Again, this is the Tiffin Wayfair 24 TW. Um, there are a couple different floor plans uh, that they offer as well too. So in case you guys weren't interested, feel free to stop in. Um, we're more than happy to, to show you what different floor plans they offer um, and uh, give you a give you a one-on-one -on -one intro into the, the, the uh, Tip and Wayfair, which is definitely fun. Um, it was a fun experience learning about them when they first came out. So um, I can only imagine it's even more exciting for a customer to come in and, and check them out and uh, to learn about them. You guys can see I'm hitting a lot of bumps and there's barely any rattling or anything you guys can hear in the back which is great as well too. Um, what I'll do is park it right back where we were real quick. It's nice and smooth. There's no fighting with the steering wheel. I know a lot of motorhomes sometimes you get into them and you feel a little fatigued fighting with them. Uh, not with this. It's nice, easy, straightforward. Nothing you have to worry about on these. The one thing you always want to make sure is you don't hit any of the light posts that are out here as well too. Um, Jim and Chris aren't happy when you do that, so just we, we like to make sure that we don't do that. And there we are guys, the cool thing on this is you put it in neutral and all you do is poke the end on it here, and now it's in park. But that's the 2020 Tiff and Wayfair 24TW guys. Feel free to like and share the video as well too. Get it out to all your friends. If you guys do have any questions or like to set an appointment, feel free to call 716-694-0188. My direct extension is 406, or I believe it's dial two for the sales department. We're more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. Again, have a nice day. Like and share, guys.